honoring the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today, people around the nation pause to pay homage to the civil rights activist and American icon. The nation's largest Martin Luther King Jr. Day march took place in San Antonio. It stretched nearly three miles with an estimated 300,000 people in attendance. In D.C., visitors to the King Memorial laid wreaths and remembered the civil rights leader. His son, Martin Luther King III, and his family were seen paying their respects. Here in Central Florida, there were several tributes to Dr. King, including a prayer breakfast in Orlando. News 6's Jerry Askin joins us now live from Paramore with their mission to honor Dr. King. Lisa, I tell you, many folks today all over use their off day um, being about service. And I tell you, right here in Paramore, as you mentioned, I'll show you those flowers planted in just a second. But so many folks today came out and actually painted this mural right behind me. You see it says MLK Day 2019 and also I Have a Dream. And I tell you, Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone told us today these events actually helped him uh, better bridge the gap between police and the community. The unity and celebration for Martin Luther King. And that's why Nika Berry and her sorority sisters came out to MLK parades today, both in Okoye and Apopka. They were like many today, sharing Dr. King's legacy, especially his emphasis on service and how he fought so hard for peace and equality for all of us. So to see us and for us to have an opportunity to be able to walk and support the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King is very important to us. Meantime, in Paramore today, Lots of music, fun, and service. We know more than 700 volunteers took part today in several beautification projects like planting flowers, painting murals, and so much more. To me, it's a day where technically I was off, but I'm spending my off day here to help. We saw Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone and his officers today connecting with Paramore residents and also enjoying being of service in a community they serve. Often not, of course, we're brought in when something negative is happening. This shows the other side of law enforcement that we hope that everyone will, will understand. And today, again, so many volunteers here in Paramore uh, used this day of service to actually help build a food pantry at a church actually right across the street here uh, to provide eventually um, healthy options for people here in the Paramore area. For now, we're live in Paramore. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.